again. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing fine and well, having a great day. Welcome if you are new. So I'm going to get a little bit of something done on my left hand today. My nails are not in the best condition. I've had a little bit of a reaction of something. I'm not sure what. On my middle and ring finger, I've got a little tiny bit of itchy blistering. So today I've pulled out my Model 1's Builder in a Bottle. So these came in a set of six. I'll just quickly show you the colours. That number flashed up the screen so fast then. Didn't see it, but I'm just going to quickly show you the colours. I think they started from 003 and then we've got 004 and i think it goes up to 008 i think this is the one i used today 005 it's like a little nude kind of color so i'll just take you along for the ride for a second just whilst i decided which color i was going to use and there's a clear in this set as well i will leave links below guys to everything that i use in today's video and i have got a discount code for model ones that will all be down in my description box as well So yeah, 005 is the colour I picked to use today. But before we get into my nails today, I just want to quickly show you a new product that Model 1's has brought out. So this is a Nail Ridge Filling Strengthener and it's essentially to repair nails, strengthen nails and for like a daily protection of your natural nails. So there's three colours available as well. There's glitter pink, pearl white and clear. So I've got the glittery pink one and the pearl white. I do love these bottles as well and I was having a little nosy on Amazon because I, I don't normally use products like this but because my nails are so thin at the moment I thought I'd try it and having a nosy on Amazon I thought this was the best value for money it was cheaper than 90% of the ones on Amazon plus this bottle was a lot bigger than a lot of the other ones on Amazon as well so this moisturizes the nail surface and prevents it from drying out it strengthens the nails it reduces breakage caused by soft and thin nails which is exactly what i've got it dries within two minutes you remove it with nail polish remover it's not a gel you don't need to cure it in the lamp and yeah you only need to apply it once every seven days rather than every day like the opi and most of the others they need applying daily so we're going to use this on my right hand today i've took everything off my nails on my right hand and can you see i've got little ridges i mostly get them as my nails growing out of my cuticle area i do get little ridges and i don't like them so we're gonna i'm gonna try and sort my nails out on my right hand by using this for the next week or two so give your nails a really good clean off with some alcohol first get them really dehydrated like that and then you just apply this like you would do with a kind of old school nail polish nail lacquer it's a safe formula with ingredients including keratin jojoba oil vitamin e strengthening and adding nutrition to the nails it's actually a very pretty color so it says i can leave that on for up to seven days now remove it with nail polish remover first clean the nails again and reapply it perfect right so shall we get on with some very pretty nails now so i've pulled out some of my model ones colors they're all kind of pastel colors and i'm using a yellow from a different brand because i didn't quite have the right yellow that i wanted from model ones so i'm using these are just kind of long coffin these are half well tips so a quick bit of nail prep i'm just going to push all my cuticles back and i'm going to scrape away any dead skin on my nail bed not got a lot of dead skin because i kind of do this every other day so there's never really a lot there but it's important to get rid of any dead skin because it will cause lifting so i'm going to get these nails glued on quickly i'm just using regular air drying nail glue a little bit of glue in that well hold it on and you always want to hold down those side wings as well make sure those side wings are properly stuck down they have got a tendency to stick out so make sure they're properly stuck down 
so that's them all stuck on now so i didn't want these ultra long today so i am going to snip them down more to i would call this a medium length for me personally this is medium length but for a lot of people this is still long it's medium for me so that's them cut to an Aggie style medium length and I'm just going to use a file now where they've been glued on especially those side wings I pretty much file them off I hate them they always stick out and really bug my application so I always file very very thin those side wings and just blend that nail tip in a little bit more with the natural nail and at the same time I'm going to scratch up my natural nail and I'm going to scratch up that tip So I'm also using the Model 1's Dehydrator and Primer Duo. So a really good dousing of the Dehydrator. Or you can just clean your nails with alcohol. It does the exact same job. And then a little coating of the primer. And lastly now before I start the application I'm just going to give my natural nails a little coating of the base coat just as I was giving my natural nails a coating of the base coat somebody shouted me to do something so you'll see me go back over the whole tip because I thought I can see myself snapping one of these nails now so I'm just going to go over the whole thing so you'll see me now going back over the whole thing just to give a tiny bit of strength while I quickly went and did this little job I had to do Right, so every nail to start with is going to be the same, so I will just show you one or two. So when I'm using a builder in a bottle, any kind of builder gel, I always start with a wet layer, a slip layer, which is just like you're applying a base coat, just a nice thin even coat. Everywhere that gel is, is where this bead is going to go, gel sticks to gel. So try not to let that slip layer or wet layer touch your skin because you're creating a little path then for the gel and it will keep dripping into your skin. So keep that slip layer, wet layer away from your skin and it helps so much with your application. And it was a really hot day so you will see me keep holding my nail upside down. So this first coat is just a little thin bead just to get my nail kind of started off. That's had a full 60 seconds cure now. So this is a bit of a bigger bead, just to start adding a bit of strength and structure to the nail. I've left most of it up in this top third area where your stress point is. And I'm just dragging a little bit of it down. I'm not going to build too much of an apex because they are only little bottles. I thought I would build the apex and a bit more strength using the clear at the end. So if you ever feel like your gel is going to drip into your cuticle or your sidewalls, just hold it upside down and gravity will pull all that gel back into the middle where it should be. And it really helps with shaping as well. So... Don't be scared to just keep holding your nail upside down. Do it every 10 seconds if you have to. And it, yeah, it really helps with filing and shaping. So I'll just let, I've skipped a nail and I've gone to the middle nail now. I've done the slip layer. I'll just let you watch me finish this nail. So this is the first coat. Just a little bit of a thin coat just to get my nail started off. And the second bead that I put on will be a bit of a bigger bead. Just to build a bit of an apex, give it a little bit of strength. And you'll see me always swiping up and down the sides just to keep that gel the same shape as the tip underneath. You don't want the gel hanging over the edges of that tip because you'll either have to file it all off at the end or if you don't file it off, you lose a lot of that kind of coffin shape. So swipe up and down the sides like that and make sure the gel is not bulking over the edge of that tip. If it is, again, hold the nail upside down before you put it in the lamp.
so that's them all done not done but that's all the builder gel the colored builder gel applied so i'm going to use the clear now and i'm just going to add another bead of the gel to all of these nails just to add a little bit more strength just to add a little bit of a thicker apex i will just show you doing this one pinky because it's pretty much the same as the second bead i put on the other nails you don't apply it uh, any differently just try and leave most of it up in that stress area Right, so that is the nails completely built. Now, I have gave them just a little file and a buff off camera. They really didn't need much. So just a quick recap on the colours that I'm going to be using. And the yellow is from a different brand. So this design, I wanted the base to be glossy. The actual design is going to be matte. You'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. But I wanted the base to be glossy. So I'm just going to go over them all quickly with the Model 1's No Wipe Top Coat. Right, so this is the fun part. So I've put a little bit of each colour on my palette and I've pulled out some clear acrylic. You can use clear dip powder. So I'm going to start from the bottom of this pointer finger and we're going to do zebra print. I'm starting at the bottom of this finger with the yellow. Just a few little zebra print stripes. But I want this design to go diagonally across the nails. So this second nail, I'm kind of doing it higher up. And rather than the zebra print being straight can you see i started it on that first nail pointing slightly upwards so that i can do do it at a diagonal across all the nails so it will get higher and higher as i go across the next nail it's quite self-explanatory as you watch me doing it so i'm just going to do the yellow first So I'm not going to cure that yellow gel, I'm going to sprinkle the clear acrylic into that gel. Give it a sprinkle, leave it for a second or two and then give it another sprinkle. You want to make sure there's no shiny parts left on that gel. If there's any shiny parts, give it another sprinkle and then that's going to go in the lamp for a double cure. So I'm going to give that a 60 seconds cure. Right, so next I'm going on to the kind of orange peachy kind of colour. And again, this is going to go diagonally up the nail. So I think I will just let you watch for a second guys, I am going to go across the colours on that palette going upwards on the nail and then I'll show you what I do with the rest of the nails that's underneath the yellow in a minute. So now I've done the top half of kind of the nails, starting from that yellow now, I'm going to start with the blue on the other, si other side of the palette, I'm going to start with the blue working backwards from the yellow that's on the nail, if that makes sense.
so there we go guys that is then finished i think these are so cute and i think maybe not the building of the nails it's not very beginner friendly but i think the design itself is super beginner friendly and they look so good i love the colors i love the shiny base with the matte embossed zebra print on top so simple but so effective anyway guys that is it for today i will leave links to everything down in my description box i will leave links to the new ridge filling nail strengthener that will be down there as well with any discount codes please remember to give the video a quick thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already hopefully i'll see you all back in my next one take care bye